What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are having an amazing day. Right now though, I am starting off with uh, this two by two by four that I'm going to use for the winter for the monkey tail skinks. I have one here and then there's one I got to pick up in Menifee. But this will house my two females and then I'm grabbing a pair of monkey tails. Parents will tell us all. Solomon Allen, Monkey Tail Skinks, Prince Hotel Tail Skinks, whatever you guys want to call them. I'm picking up a pair this Friday, and they're going to go in with the two females right now. But in the winter, it's going to be a little bit too cold to keep them outside. So I have this enclosure and another enclosure I'm picking up. I'm going to re-silicone it, kind of reinforce it with some corner, with some, uh, what is it, angle brackets. That's going to be a feeding platform like I have in the enclosure outdoors. I'm gonna screw it in, put a platform there, build in some uh, cork pieces, maybe do a cork background. And yeah, but well, right now I'm just gonna silicone everything. Just get all, all of it kind of reconfigured because it's not really as solid as it should be, I would say. I would say it's a little old, so. What better thing to do than reinforce it with more uh, silicone? So, yeah, I'm gonna do that right now. So, ran a solid thick bead of silicone and use my finger to kind of even everything out. And then once that's done, I will probably, the top's pretty solid, I'll probably flip it up and do the bottom pieces and this inside piece right here as well um that gorilla tape right there since this trim's all falling off because it's not the best i'm gonna take the gorilla tape look at this um take the gorilla tape and run it like this looks clean and it's black on black so this will, that'll probably help hold this together better than this whatever this crap is. So yeah, I'm gonna make it better. What is on my shoe? Oh, what the? All right, so uh, yeah. Go duct tape all this. And I really hope you guys are having a great day. That last video, I know a lot of you guys commented and liked the video and stuff, but that was in the past, that was like four years ago. Future's down, present's here get stuff done let's keep her going so the duct tape I, or not duct tape gorilla tape idea was actually a really good idea can't even tell that there needed trim there gorilla tape trim for the wind i gotta do these sides as well but for right now while that in part inner part of the silicone dries looks pretty good for right now and then once I lift it up, I'll do the top trim. Actually, I'll probably flip it this way and do that trim first and then flip it back this way so that I can do the trim, but also silicone everything on the inside. Yeah. I think when I flip it this way, I might do the silicone on that as well, just to triple reinforce it. So, That'll be a couple hours for me, but for you guys, it'll be right now. No. So, a little update. It's been like six hours. I siliconed everything, taped everything. I'm just over relaxing. But everything's siliconed, everything's taped off. But now I'm going to cut this to size specifically for so that the when I spray this enclosure, the water does not touch the wood. So I'm going to cut, hopefully to size, from here, down, across, up. That'll be one piece, and then I'll take a piece that'll go from mia to mia to mia. So, so that when I spray the enclosure, basically, it'll be all aqua proof. So some dough marked me up. 
So we now have added our pond liner. I gotta cut this back a little bit, but when it's winter time, we'll fill the soil in, throw a bunch of uh, cork bark in, there'll be a food shelter or food shelf right now. And this will be their winter exploration. Now I gotta go get the one from Menifee and do the exact same thing to this one. Camera down. So it's the next day. I pre-drilled a hole here and a hole here, all the way to the back. Threw a whole bead of silicone across this, slapped it on there. Once that dries and hardens and everything, I'll lift it back up. Have someone hold that in place while I drill in a screw there, a screw there. And then we have smaller two by fours. I'm gonna line up right about like this. Do the exact same thing on this side. That way we have a feeding platform and I don't have to sit the food on the ground. I can sit up here, they can have their ground area, a little water bowl, and then their climbing area. So, yeah. I'll see you guys after this cures. So now, the enclosure's done. It's back in the shed. As you can see, it's not where it used to be. The shed is now back here. But this is where we're going to store all of our extra um, biodegradable stuff. Lights, candles, cages, fencing, incubators and the uh, winter enclosures so with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed this video it's a little humid outside a little hot outside but hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe smash the bell notification like this video comment down below that door just tried to attack me and yeah i'll see y'all later peace